Oh, Leticia. Do you need Antonio for I something do. too? However, I hear the sound of a voice. Mayhap he has a visitor. A voice? Please excuse me for dropping in on you unannounced. No, it's fine. I know it's hard to talk about these things in front of everyone else. A matter difficult to discuss in public? What could it be? Antonio, sorry to interrupt. The data that you asked me to expedite is complete, compiled, and ready for you to review. Is this a bad time? Oh, Chloe. And Leticia, too. So, the voice we heard belonged to you, Marielle. Yes. Antonio has a lot of experience as a captain, so I came to ask him how best to prepare. I didn't want to ask him in front of Sayuri and the others. The Lawrence family ships are civilian ships, you know. Antonio doesn't think like the captain of some scary battleship. Besides, why ask Antonio in the first place? Why not Ray? Well, of course I asked Captain Raymond, but he told me that everyone has their own way of thinking about these things. So that is why you have come to ask Antonio, I presume. <sighs> Regardless, you didn't have to come to his private quarters. Anyway, Chloe, you came to discuss that thing you emailed me about earlier, yes? Correct. I already prepared the data you asked for, and I attached it to the email I sent. I found some flaws in the reference data that you gave me, so I wanted to confirm whether we should use it as is or not. I went ahead and summarized the incorrect portions in the attached file. Huh. <sighs> well done. It looks like the stats at headquarters have some errors. I'd like to have their say in this. Sorry to add to your workload, but could I ask you to rework this with the revised data? I thought you'd ask that. So I've already taken the liberty of uploading the correct version to my personal folder. I also added the differential information due to the revision, so you can review that too. Outstanding as always, Chloe. Uh, outstanding? No, no, no! Uh, all I did was put together the data that I thought you might want, after all. You see, Marielle, a captain is only as good as their crew. My crew knows how I think. And they always make sure I have exactly what I need when I need it. Just like Chloe here. You can't just become a captain. No one can. It's the trust of your crew. Sayuri, Pike, Kasum, and the others. That's what makes you a captain. So I reckon a good start would be opening up to them about these feelings of doubt you've been having. Thank you, Antonio. I've kept all my concerns hidden away for fear of making them feel uneasy. I thought that was for the best, but I may have actually made them more anxious by putting up my guard. If your subordinates know what you're thinking, then they'll be able to adjust their actions accordingly. Here, Mario, take a look at Chloe's data. It's highlighted in places. Uh, Chloe, why are there highlights here? They're not on any of the internal templates, right? Well, um, you were always interested in those particular values, so I thought it'd be better if they were, you know, easier to spot. Wait, is that a problem? Um, if you turn off the display on the right, it'll make them disappear. Such attentiveness without the need for direct orders. It is as though you are of one mind. Of one mind? Leticia? Oh my gosh! What's someone as exceptionally brilliant as you doing not working for me? Don't you feel the same, Chloe? Uh, 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 um, I'll just resend you the corrected data then. Uh, bye! It seems the captain must also master the art of winning people over. Not sure I've done that myself. I have a tough road ahead of me, don't I?